And how we doing everybody? Name here is Matthew, call sign is Victor Alpha One Mike Romeo Tango. And I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to set up your FTM 300 to receive and send APRS signals. Now here in North America, the APRS frequency is 144.390. As you see, I have set up there. And you can see right now we're actually receiving some uh, some APRS beacons that are coming across. The radio is not uh, deciphering them as of yet because we don't have the APRS modem turned on. But we'll uh, we'll just do a quick little video here, and uh, we'll get you uh, we'll get you set up and rolling with the uh, APRS on the FTM three hundred. It's uh, it's pretty slick. So what we're gonna do? Press and hold our S setup button. And bring up our setup menu, and that'll bring us to our lovely menu here. We'll go down to APRS, and right off the bat, there's uh, there's an awful lot of menu options here. You don't really have to worry about a lot of them. We'll uh, we'll go through quickly the uh, the ones that you do want to have uh, have set up. So. For myself, we want to go down to number four to start, and obviously we have to turn on our APRS modem, so it's showing off right now. We want to set that to on, and now this here APRS mute. If uh, if this is off, we'll still be able to hear the uh, the beacons coming in. You just if you listen to it with the volume up, you, everyone knows that uh, familiar APRS signal that comes in. So, what we want to do is, if we switch that to off, you won't uh, you won't hear that traffic coming in. It uh, it gets kind of no noise, but excuse me, annoying. But let's say if you do have this setting on, and you Turn off your uh, turn off your beacon, and you're not using listen to APRS frequency. You won't be able to hear any other stations on the B band. So just uh, just remember that. So we'll turn it on for now, just for the uh, just for the demonstration. Uh, APRS pop up that menu here. You can go in, and that just shows you how uh, how many seconds the uh, the beacon information will pop up on your screen. So. Go down, APRS ringer. I didn't really have to do anything with that. Uh, APRS ringer CS. I never really bothered with that one just yet. Transmit delay 250 milliseconds. I think in my truck I have it set to 400. Uh, yeah, that's what I have, uh, have running in my truck. Seems to work pretty well. APRS units. Your position, distance, speed, altitude, uh, temperature, rain, wind speed. Uh, depending where you're located in the world. We're up here in Canada, so we... Uh, Use the metric system, so have my distance kilometers, speed, kilometers per hour. I know I have it it's set to feet and altitude, but I uh, I prefer prefer it that way. It's all personal preference for that guy. Uh, beacon info. Amb ambiguity. Blah. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, uh, I have speed course set to off. Just for uh, just since I'm using this as a base station, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about going uh, sending out my speed and course altitude. I can send that show uh, show how high I am off the above sea level. Uh, beacon status text. You can uh, put in custom texts that you want to uh, you want to beacon out. Uh, beacon transmit. Uh, right now it's set to off. Interval 60 minutes just because it's a base station. 
proportional on decay, low speed. Some of the stuff is, if you're using smart beaconing, it will uh, it will beacon depending on if you make a certain degree of a turn or how fast you're going. It'll uh, determine the rate of uh, what you're beaconing at. So we'll get back into that. Digipath. Um, it's already set automatically to wide 1 dash 1 and wide 2 dash 1. So, and that's just the amount of uh, hops the signal is going to make. So, just leave that as is. And let's say if you work in the International Space Station, you could program in your own uh, digipaths that you want to work. And here is the big one APRS call sign. So, since I'm using this as a base station, mine will be set to dash 10. I do believe if you look in the, if you look online, there is a particular manual that just deals with APRS, but I believe I'm too busy talking and not watching my, uh, not watching what I'm doing. So we'll get rid of that. That we'll just, we'll just do it again. V A Go back up to A B C V A one. M R T and for a home station it is dash ten. But uh I'll leave uh I'll leave a link in the description for do the uh the digital menus. Sorry, the uh, digital manuals. And uh that should get you up and running. There is a particular manual just for dealing with APRS if you really want to get deep into it. But uh, just get up and running and see the uh, stations coming through and send out a quick beacon or two. This is, uh, this is what this video is for. Oop. Press the wrong one. So once you have your call sign in, do you want to press and hold for it to enter? There we go. And not really re worried about message group and reply. My position is set to GPS just because I can... Uh, receive the signal in my house but you can also set it to manual if you want to manually put in your your position so let's say if you want to go to here you can uh, put in your GPS position if uh, your rig has cannot connect to uh, the GPS satellites that are floating around so we'll keep mine set to GPS and number two Menu number 26 is my symbol. So we're going to set that to house, QTH, VHF. There we go. Back. There are a few already set up, icon set up. So let's say if you have a vehicle, you can have it uh, instead of the car. You can Press the VFO knob here and go through the the different options. So it's uh it's pretty it's like there's uh there's a lot of them out there. Depending where you're at, what you're doing, the type of station you're running. Your uh, let's just set that back to car. And we'll go back down to house. Once it's highlighted, you're all set. So just click back uh, position comment says I'm off duty here on route set to in service smart beaconing is off since I'm not running it uh, mobile voice alert and that's it so Go back, back here, 
Now, you can see in the bottom right hand corner right there, it says A12, that means the modem is set up and running. So that's good. Now, if we just press the F setup button, we have these quick menu icons. And we can go to APRS function and we can click on station list. And already since I was just on the APRS frequency, all these uh, stations are coming in. So like this one that just came in, BY2 TPH, click on that one. And it shows the power they're running, the height, antenna information, direction there for me. You can scroll down. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty slick. V1GYS, V1EXP. So it's, uh, it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat setup. So if you uh, receive any messages, all your messages will pop up here. So you can go back in there and reply to your messages if you want to. Beacon is set to off right now. So instead of going hold and F setup and going through the menu items just to get the, the beacon, just for you to turn on your beacon, you can just come into this menu here and click on it. So beacon's on, off. You're uh, good to go. And if you want to manually beacon, beacon transmit. There we go. She received. So we'll just uh, sorry, set up again. The previous function. Speed transmit. I can turn the beacon on. So I have it set to it'll beacon every hour. You can go back to our station list. And you can see there I am. There was my, my beacon right there. And it'll tell me rig I'm using, FDM 300. My altitude is 173 feet above sea level, and my GPS location. So that's uh, that's a pretty slick setup right there. And uh, another cool function you can do, let's say we have our, if we want to see all the beacons come in on the display, they they will pop up for. For a second well we have it set to 10 seconds but if we press and hold our s setup button and we go to display and this down to number six display mode and backtrack as the beacons come in we will uh we'll actually see them pop up on the compass here so we'll uh just kind of wait a second here and hopefully hopefully something pops up It'll actually show us the uh, distance in the kilometers away. If you see, happen to see any Dash 9 stations, those are people that are uh, that are mobile driving around. So it's uh, it's pretty slick. I uh, I enjoy it. Me and uh, another local hand when we're uh, out mobile, we usually uh, have APRS running. And we can, uh, if we see each other out and about, we know... Uh, we know that we're mobile and we can uh, get back to each other.